have we had such great success over the last 20 years? Well, it's been really focused on what we call our transformation formula. It includes massive investment, and I'll talk about that uh, in a little, little bit, and just a, a compelling passion for design, obsession with craftsmanship, and those of you who have been with us since the beginning and have seen our products evolve, uh, you can definitely speak to that. Uh, we continue to have an evolving brand image, uh, and that as the, the head uh, marketer, that's been our biggest challenge, is changing the perception of our brand, but uh, we continue to do that. Uh, we continue to have an elevated ownership experience with our 770 dealers across the United States. And as we introduce every new product, we continue to redefine what value is in the marketplace. So let me talk about each one of those in a little more detail. The massive investment uh, that we've made since 2002, this is just in the United States, it's about $1.4 billion. We've got uh, our proving grounds in California, for those of you who were on our Optima our, uh, event uh, back in 2010, I think it was, uh, we took you to our headquarters there in the upper right-hand corner. This is uh, the plant down in West Point, Georgia, that's building Sorrentos and Optimas. And then this is our design center, which is on our campus uh, here in, uh, or in Southern California. Uh, but we're also uh, continuing to invest in, uh, in other areas around the world. Uh, we've got the Nuremberg Test Facility, which opened in 2013. We have a new standalone design center in Korea. Uh, in the past, Hyundai Kia shared the design centers, but now under uh, Peter Schreier's tutelage, he has separated the two brands, and now there is a all new, uh, just opened, just phenomenal design center dedicated just to uh, to Kia. So that's really cool. So we have now that facility, then of course we have our U.S. facility, and we have a design center in Europe as well, and they all compete uh, every time we uh, have a big uh, design project. And then of course, uh, earlier this year, we announced that we're going to be building our second manufacturing plant uh, down in Mexico. Uh, haven't announced which vehicles we'll be uh, uh, producing there, so stay tuned for more information on that in the near future. All right, from a design perspective, passion for design, really driven by this man here, Peter Schreier, uh, head of now all Hyundai Kia uh, designs. We think this is great because now there's somebody that's really overseeing both design studios and making sure that there's uh, a strong brand separation. Our team down here is just a couple of the members from our uh, design studio in Southern California that built uh, the uh, the great uh, GT4 Stinger, which we introduced earlier this year. So over the last um, five, six years, we've uh, brought out 20 all new or significantly redesigned products. And if you see now the Sedona in the uh, upper right hand corner, the last vehicle uh, to complete the transformation is from our perspective, uh, obviously a little biased, but just a phenomenal portfolio of products that we're offering. All right, the next, uh, area to talk about is our, our obsession with craftsmanship, uh, highlighted here by uh, this image coming from uh, West Point, Georgia. So we're ranked uh, sixth in initial quality among all automakers, according to J.D. Power. Again, if you consider where we've been over the last 20 years, we used to have the worst, and now we're getting close to having the best. And this is uh, not just a U.S. initiative, this is a corporate initiative worldwide uh, to continue to improve and come out with great quality. Uh, according to Strategic Vision, the highest rated mainstream brand in total quality. And then Consumer Reports just put us in the top 10 uh, among all automakers in reliability. So continue to invest in this area uh, to uh, uh, come out with the best products that we absolutely can because we know the consumers are demanding it. Uh, the brand continues to evolve. We continue to uh, partner in with uh, high profile marketing uh, and sports sponsorships, some of them that uh, you're seeing up here. Uh, NBA, of course, LPGA, uh, FIFA World Cup, uh, the partnership with LeBron James and the K900. Uh, our motorsports team, for those of you who've been with us over the last couple of years, continues to evolve and continues to make great progress. Uh, in fact, this year, winning the uh, Pirelli World Challenge. And uh, so a very exciting 2015 plan ahead where we'll be defending our championship. So look for more exciting stuff there. 
Uh, Interbrand recently ranked us in uh, number 74 as one of the uh, best global brands. Uh, first made it onto this list about three years ago at number 93, and we're already up to 74. They also have what they define as their best global green brands, recognizing companies who are environmentally conscious, uh, and we are number 37 out of the top 50 there. So again, continue, what we really are trying to do is continue to challenge uh, the way consumers think about us uh, we do know that there are still some people out there that are doubters. So all of these things that we do, we're trying to overcome that and get them to become more brand advocates or at least fence sitters, um, how we define them. So uh, moving on, the elevated ownership experience. As I mentioned, 770 dealers uh, across our network, across the United States. Uh, more and more of them investing in what we call our gallery image facility. Again, out of our 770, we have 237 projects uh, either completed or in progress. Really just try to showcase the great uh, portfolio of products that we have. So we're very excited uh, to see this happen, the investment that our dealers are making. Uh, so that's good news. From an, Again, from an ownership experience standpoint, Optima and Soul won Auto Pacific's 2014 Vehicle Satisfaction Awards. Soul ranked number one in the appeal study for the uh, third straight year. We've moved ahead of Honda, Ford, and Mazda in the customer service index. So again, continuing to focus on the customer experience and overcoming the perception that we've had in the past.